Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of EU4. We're currently fighting Bohemia through a war that we inherited by vassalizing Hungary. There now our servants. Our manpower cap is huge. And our manpower itself is filled up quite nicely. I think we can go in another war against Russia soon. If we want to. We can get some more wars to expand our colonies. You know, we've got California, Nova, Hollandia, Dutch, Louisiana. We can go to war against Castile. Because let's be honest. Castile isn't going to be able to oppose us. We're also going to fight the Pueblo and the Apache over here at some point. Because hey, that is land we would like to have. Oh, we could even go and expand Dutch Mexico. We've got a 48 stack, really? What? Where the hell do you get that from? That's amazing. In that case, we are definitely going to fight the uh, Ixiwa over here. Where's the Aztec? Aztec are right over there, aren't they? Yeah. The Aztec Empire is a one province miner. Oh, yeah, we're definitely declaring war on them. Show superiority. So that's going to be one more colonial war because, hey, who doesn't want to expand our colonies, right? We're amazing. We need to show that to everyone. Uh, hell, we could even expand Argentina a little bit more. We are currently fighting Chuarua over here. And the um, the people from Mapuche over here. They're not going to be around for much longer. Just waiting for Argentina to get around and uh, finish them, basically. I think they're heading over there now, although I could... British Peru might go and do it. That's good enough for me. I'm going to transfer occupation here quickly to Argentina, wherever they may be in the list. It's a long list, what can I say? We've got a lot of subjects. We have the best subjects. The largest. Ooh, Dutch Brazil is currently in... Dutch Brazil is being occupied by Mapuche and Chuara over there. Which leaves their heartlands open, which is nice. We've got a national decision available to cancel the construction of the Kiel Canal. Which should be done in 93, in six more years. Income's doing pretty well, we're earning 334 ducats. We've got two provinces down below here that still need a core, so we need to get rid of those rebels at some point. Which we definitely will, don't worry about it. German Natal. The German Cape of Good Hope. We've got a lot of territory. What can I say? Annexing Great Britain. It's a pretty good thing to do, I'll be honest. It worked out pretty well for us. Castile wants to walk through a land. You know what? That's totally okay. You are our trusted ally, after all. We're currently waiting for the, uh, the Savoyans to lose the siege against Aragon. So we can finally move over and take some land back for Burgundy. Because a lot of these lands are Burgundian cores. Which is going to be a great way to keep our aggressive expansion down, while at the same time messing with the fabric of Europe a bit more. We're good at it by now. I should also really go and allocate these merchants at some point, because we're just getting so many subjects, and they all give us a free merchant at some point. It's, it's getting a bit crazy. Jesus Christ, they've been able to hold out on that siege for like three months at 49%. We are not very lucky. I want to take a quick look at the British West Indies, by the way. Because I'm not entirely sure where they are. And I would love to expand the land a little bit. Can I, like... British West Indies... Where are you exactly? Can't seem to find them anyway. Let's let's look them up in the war list here. British West Indies. Oh! Oh yeah, no, that's not gonna happen in a war. Oh, I'm sorry. What's like Dutch Mexico doing? Oh, they're currently sieging Kutsamala, that's fine. Get a call for peace. I think like I'm pretty sure they're tired of the Bohemian War, which you know, fair enough. Country modifier, full Elon expired. Down goes our extra morale, which is a bit of a shame. We can weather the call for peace for a little bit, so I'm not too worried about it. How's our technologies looking? 
three years ahead of time, get Diplotech. It's gonna cost us, like, yeah, sure. It's going to help us with the, uh, you know, keeping our people here happy. Because we'll have the good diplomatic tech. If they get ahead in tech, it's gonna cost us. Ooh, local defensiveness. Polish separatists. Oh, yeah. They are a thing. We're gonna send a ruler in, because, hey, we don't care about a ruler. He can die. I mean, he's a 104. He's terrible. Get rid of him. It's the only reason why I'm assigning him to the command of an army. He's even a bad general, like... Look at him! He's a 2242! We have 100 tradition, that is a terrible thing. The burgers want... Ermland. I mean, it's a good... province, you know what? Fine. I don't really care that much. I'll be completely honest. Bohemia's like, hey man, I wanna peace out. The Aztecs are like, hey man, we want to peace out. Aztec, would this be for the entire... Yeah, they're negotiating for their entire alliance. So we'll just stay in that war for a little bit longer, because everything there is going to go to... Dutch Mexico. It was interestingly, interestingly enough, split between New Castile, which is a bit, you know, annoying. Exilio should be um, annexed soon enough. We have retaken that province we lost, which is pretty great. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here, let's be honest. That call for peace is going to run up our war exhaustion, but we have the war exhaustion reductions, which are just insane, let's be honest. Return cores. Seed niche. They don't want to take that peace deal. Huh, really? Well, fine, we'll leave France to seed you out. See if I care. Which will also give us more time to siege out Bohemia itself. Finland, why are you upsetty? Let's see, it's one of these. <laughs> Let's see, we've got New Germany, New Hollandia, 13 colonies, New Germany. German Quebec, Newfoundland, where's Finland? Oh, it's German Quebec. Why did Why don't you just call it German Quebec then? Uh, oh, we are already improving relations with them, which is good. Anyone else is like really close to flipping British West Indies? We'll improve relations with them because hey, we want people to be loyal. That would be nice. That was a Diplo slot, by the way. We're using 5 out of 6, mostly leading unions and leading vassal. Might wanna... You know, shoot a vassalization over to the... Livonian order there. You know. That will be nice to have along, I guess. <laughs> They're a thing. That's all I can say. Colonial rebel executed. Oh. God, German Quebec is going to go and rebel again. It's very interesting how they uh, don't seem to rename it in the Liberty Desire pop-up, whereas it clearly does over here. I mean, they are slowly starting to get over the fact that, hey, you are Protestant now. Deal with it. It's taken them a while. It's fair enough. Californian treasure fleet arrived. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of money sent to us. Life is good when you're Germany. I'll be honest, life is really good. Let's build some counting houses here, holy crap. That's a nice amount of profit, Lithuania. Can't wait to integrate it for myself. What can I say? There we go, 0 0.45, 0 0.51, oh hell yeah. Very nice. Oh, did not actually get it that time. Do you not want it? Like, that node is really annoyingly placed, I gotta be honest. There we go. That's better. How about France? France can already count, it's okay. They don't need special housing to learn it. Very good! Cathedrals? Anywhere? Like, I know we've gone over cathedrals for a few... for a fair few times, but... Eh, seems fine. 
We might spend a bit of our admin points in the colonies to get our loyalty up a little bit. Let's spend it in block, although it's terrible there because it's not... Ooh, yes. Lost the road, very nice. And a bit of military? Sure, why not. I like 23 admin points for 0.18 ducats for the rest of the game. Pretty good! I like it. We can construct a core on Vilkapolka. That's gonna... Sure, it's gonna earn us money. There goes a bit more admin, and we'll have to assign a province to the clergy now. Uh, states... Clergy... Like, you could just have this province. It's not like I really care. There you go. You happy now? They're happy now. Oh, uh, new religion spreads? Football! My advisors haven't even heard of football. Our peasant rabble is performing strange rituals involving some kind of... Balls? We have to prevent another religious turmoil. Who's the statesman? Oh, Johan Rank. My advisors haven't even heard of football? Like, are you... Really? Oh man, that's gonna count for 50. Although it does give us extra legitimacy. At least keep our universities clean. I also kind of want to have the, uh, the legitimacy, I'll be honest. I'm purely doing it for the legitimacy. I'm sure Germany is going to be great at World Cups and whatnot. Also. Damn it, Savoy. We don't have any diplomats to send. Recall from the Livonian Order. They're next door anyway. Return cores. We have one unseaged. Like, what are you doing? Return all these cores to Burgundy, and then you're in the seat niche. Man, they really, they really don't want to do that, do they? Absolute jerks. Hi, rebel scum. We apparently crushed you. For what it's worth. So that's good. I like crushing rebels. The Bohemians still have an army, although... Let's be honest, it's not gonna do much. Don't wanna get a piece from the Aztecs. British Peruvian treasure fleet arrived. It's all good. The Aztecs are getting their teeth kicked in. To be expected. Pretty soon we'll be done with that war. Peace offer from Georgia. Sure. Get out of here. That's gonna re reduce their relative strengths and whatnot. Unseat your province for Hungary. We'll go and kick them over now. We're nearly on full manpower, which is also nice. Savoy just doesn't want to give up. I want to take a separate piece with Savoy. I will not settle for anything less. It's gonna be really easy. Monthly war exhaustion is going up by 0.1. We are not affected by that at all. Ironically. Hello, Bohemia. I don't think you understand the severity of this scenario. Or you do now. They probably do now, let's be honest. Oh, we've won the siege of Nove Zamki. That is all of Bohemia occupied then. Good. Bunch of rabble rousers. We're gonna put our fabled, awesome, super duper monarch in charge of this army. So he can get shot. Not that I'm bitter or anything, but he needs to get shot. Oh, that's Venice. I thought it was one of our provinces we somehow inherited due to some wizardry. I don't know. Could have happened. Hello, Bohemia. You're kind of locked in there now. Please kill my leader while you're at it. Nope. They died failures. Not even helping me sort out my leader problem. God damn it. Oh, looks like we're at 200% over here. Right. We'll take care of this one first. It's all going to go to... Uh, what's the name? Dutch Mexico. Oh, that's going to be... Uh, 
Eh, it'd be easy. There we go. Dutch Mexico. Just transfer all the provinces so I don't have to do it later. We will get our colonial reach. Didn't you know? Germany was the best colonizer, but just annexing all the colonial overlords. It's a great way to do it, I'll be honest. It's a great way to do it. It's the best way to do it. And we're not going to take a separate piece with both of them. We're just going to take one. <laughs> you want to become a vassal? That's cute. That's really cute, I'll be honest. Diplomats. Seed, 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 seed. All the land goes to Dutch Mexico. They're gonna basically double in size almost. Or at least in province counts. Thank you. We are now even more awesome. Somehow. We'll just wait for a diplomat to get back. Meanwhile, that might give Savoy enough time to finally keel over. It would be nice. You know. It would be courteous to finally like admit defeat and you know, in the face of superiority. Come on, Savoy. We're waiting. Ooh, more treasure fleets. One of them got attacked, huh? That's not good. Turn all the cores. Then take knees. And they still don't want to do it. Those bloody bastards, they still don't want to do it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're going to reject that because I know it's not going to be as good as the peace deal I have in mind. You know, we make the best peace deals. Utterly defeated, yep. Yep. Don't even care about the aggressive expansion, to be honest. There we go. Three days and then we're done with Bohemia. Hi. Turn cores, Salzburg, and the Palatinate. I'm not, you know, bothered by any of that. I want to take Wittenberg. Actually, let me quickly check. Permanent claim, permanent claim, permanent claim, permanent claim, permanent claim, permanent claim. Ho oh, oh. ho. So we could take, like, everything over here except for. Except for, like, Bugiezo's eat or whatever the hell. We've got a permanent claim on pretty much all of this. Which is pretty nice. Guess we'll start working our way through the list then. That would put us at 55 aggressive expansion. People would be pissed. But the only people that would be pissed are Bohemia. Who would be uh, greatly reduced in size. We've got the Platinet. Ravensburg. Bremen. Elsass. Brabant. Salzburg and Lübeck. Guess who I don't care about. Pretty much all of those, to be honest. What's gonna be the... Ooh, 1800. Can we get some more prestige from this? It's only gonna give us like 14. Venice will gain like 100 power projection. They're gonna... Just... Wow. What if we force Unrival? It's gonna get us more prestige. We could do with a bit more prestige. I mean, we are trading in fur and everything, but... Mm. It's going to reduce, increase the truce by like three more years. You know what? That's fine. Ah, there we go. Overextension is dangerously high. I'm going to cancel this. Eh, yeah, I don't need it anymore. We'll take the mission that gets rid of extra overextension. Because, hey, that's going to be fun. There we go. Core all the things. That's what we've pretty much been saving up for. We're gonna fall behind a bit in admin tech, but hey, that's gonna be fine. Sorry, Bohemia, but I'm not really sorry. We just domed half your country. How do you feel about that? I think that pretty much gives us, like, an explanation on how they feel. Everyone's a bit pissy at the moment. Eh. They immediately ally Ravensburg. You are allied to Elsa's. I could declare war on you. Portugal would join. Hmm. We'd get in Elsa's, Genoa. 
What if I declare war on Elsas as well? Platinum and Salzburg. You'd bring in the Platinates. I think we're just gonna start, like, firing coalitions now. Although I do also want to start integrating people. So it might be worth waiting for... Uh, during peace for a while. Like, it would be great. Oh. Lose 100 admin or... Yeah, we'll wait for the kill canal. So that's the one bad event that we didn't even lose any points. Yeah, it would be great if Argentina could now go and siege out, like, their last province here. Then we'll probably start integrating Lithuania. <laughs> it's gonna reduce... It's gonna increase our size on the map so dramatically. It's gonna be hilarious. Are you gonna... Fine, British Peru. That's gonna be your target. I can't give them the target. Are they even in the war? They are. They got a bit of war exhaustion. I think France got the worst of that. Call for peace, which you know. Oh, I can scroll. Never mind. Where's Peru? There's Peru. Go get him, British Peru. Seriously, go get him. Oh. Fine, for crying out loud. These people don't know how to fight freaking wars, do they? Give me your money. Damn it, guys. You really have to be so incompetent. I wanted you to kill these guys, and you just let them run across everywhere. Nobody sent any armies whatsoever. I'm disappointed, Argentina. Absolutely disgusted. Right, let's talk to Lithuania. Hello. We have no diplomats to send. Give it about a month. They're also a bit unhappy. Oh, hey, Portugal. You want, to, you want me to give land back? How about I flip you to bird instead? Yeah, no. I'm not going to give anything back. I'll take it from you. Speaking of taking stuff. Your HRE is mine. I mean, yeah, we're going to abandon the Holy, em the Holy Roman Empire. Of course we are. We are the best empire. Boop and boop and boop. Can't abandon land that belongs to our vassals at the moment, or rather, uh, soon-to-be integrated targets. We have to core that land to really remove it from the HRE. There we go. HRE isn't looking too big anymore. I doubt we'll be able to fully dismantle it before the end of the game. I blame the fact that the Emperor has been hiding in Portugal for ages. They're still gonna be re-elected for some reason. Despite the fact that both the electors and the princes are dying out faster than you could say. Watch out, there comes Germany. Which is a pretty easy thing to say. Oh, no, that's a banner PU. I do not want to abandon a PU. Thank God it gives you it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm completely sure I want to abandon Lithuania, just let them go. Of course I'm not sure. Oh, Russia is flopping over the Livonians. Well, they probably should have done something to vassal... You know, they should have accepted my vassalization earlier. They would have been fine then. No. I just had to go up and refuse it. British zealots have risen up. They'd accept vassalization now. Target country must become at peace. Uh, would have been fun if I could be like, hey, you want to be a vassal and suddenly fight Russia again, but eh. Guess that's not on the cards today. Oh well. France, it might be a good idea if you squash them first. I'm just saying, I have some experience with fighting rebels during my time as uh, becoming the great emperor of mankind. <clears throat> I mean, um, taking what is mine, yes. Holy crap, counting houses are really good. A lot of people have really good provinces for counting houses, as it turns out. I like it. I like it a lot. France can already count. That's right. 
Any training fields? Because we need our manpower. For God knows whatever reason. Corruption is currently rising. Colonial border conflict. <sighs> Where to begin? It seems that settlers from New Holland have ventured into Tudelo, a province of New Germany, in search for new land and resources. New Germany then sent their militia to drive them out, but they got overzealous and pursued the settlers back into Kanawha, raiding and burning. The conflict then escalated when New Holland sent their militia out to drive the new Norwegian militia and carry out raids of their own into Tudelo. The Duke of New Germany, Friedrich III, is blaming the Duke of New Holland, August the first Wilhelm and vice versa. How do we solve this without losing face? Lose prestige, liberty desire, or lose 50 diplo? I need my diplo right now. I need my prestige. Although we can get that back through wars. You know what? Let them sort it out themselves. I cannot be bothered by this new worldian crap. It's half the world away. It's not like, you know, it's gonna have any impact on us. I mean, I've got this glorious empire over here to manage. Anyway, I think this is going to be a good place to leave it for this episode. Germany's doing well, we'll pretty much, like, nom on the rest of Bohemia soon enough. We'll fight Salzburg, Elsass, Mainz. We'll probably fight Aragon as well at some point. We do still have a truce with them, currently, because we vassalized Hungary. Yeah, then we'll wallop all over them. We'll finish off Brabant at some point. Fun times for everyone. We'll also integrate Burgundy, because why the hell not? Anyway, thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Helps me, helps the channel. Lets me know you want to see some more EU4 in the future, which is also a good thing. And if you want to watch more EU4 but you are not yet subscribed, do hit that subscribe button so you will know when new videos go live. Until next time, have a good one folks.